Good afternoon, family and friends and prayer warriors, saints of God in Christ, to the body of Christ. Sending greetings in the name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. Let us pray. Father God, in the holy name of Jesus, we praise you. We thank you how you breathe in our nostrils this morning and woke us up this morning. You allow our name to be called on roll call this morning. And we just want to say thank you. We ask you to look on all your people all over the land. Lord, that person that's about to commit suicide, God, we just ask you, God, to give them a made-up mind, a made-up heart, to let them know that you're with them and you'll never leave us and you'll never forsake them. God, I just ask you to look on my mother, look on my sisters and brothers, nieces and nephews, all my grandchildren. Oh, God, I just ask you to look on all my cousins. Hallelujah. Look on all my God children right now in the name of Jesus. Look on all your people all around the globe and all over the country, God. Look on them right now. Someone need you like never before, God. People lost loved ones all over the world, but God, we know that you'll be able to comfort their heart, God, and let them know you're right there with them. God, the people that don't even know you as their Lord and Savior, God, we ask you to give them a made-up mind, a fixed heart, in Jesus' name, amen. I am back with another video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Please leave me a comment and I'll get back with you. And please share this video. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm doing another mukbang. We having cheesy pizza from Domino's with garlic butter sauce. I had to think, and we drinking some apple juice. I got it in my Gatorade bottle. So, I just want to come over here and just to talk to you guys, not be long. You know, just want to eat some stuff. So, I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, I can't do it with that, but you see it. You see it. You see it. It's, it's cheesy pizza. See? Mm, cheesy pizza. I'm eating today. You know, so that's what we eating today. Okay, but let's pray. Gracious Father, we are truly thankful for this food. We are about to receive may no result by bless the hand prepare it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I just want to talk to you guys and just to let you guys know, heads up, please. I ask you guys to please look at this these videos, all the videos, and comment down below. I appreciate that to the highest if you can do that for me. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 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 No. Mm. What y'all eating today for lunch? I guess this will be my lunch in my tunnel. Because lately I've just been eating like one meal a day. I have a Gatorade bottle. I got from Five Below. I've been having it almost three years now. And I got some apple juice in here. You know, I just wanted to come on here because it looked like it's going to rain. I do want to go out and walk, you know, because I've been walking, you know, and I've been going to therapy. You know, I just started therapy with my, that's with my leg. That's why I can't go to Vegas because I don't want to use, you know, those, I don't want to use the cane and I don't want to use that um, handicap thing you push around. Mm-hmm. But... I got hot sauce on it too. I love hot sauce and stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. I love hot sauce on here and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know y'all. I love me some hot sauce. Hope I'm getting that on my shirt, you know. Mm. I'll tell you I got me some rest last night. 
I woke up this morning about six o'clock. I really actually woke up at three. I see my nephew came from work or whatever this morning. And then I um I went on back to sleep. And I woke up again at six because I had to go to the bathroom and got me something to eat because I needed something to eat. I was hungry. You see that cheese? Mmm. Yeah, I like the garlic. I like the um for the cheesy bread from Domino's. I love the garlic. Um I like the garlic butter. It's real good. Mm, I love garlic, period. I put garlic in all my food when I cook. I don't really use seasons like that. Mm. 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 Yeah. I made a mukbang yesterday to, um... I had um, fish yesterday from Arlene's in Greensboro. When I tell y'all them them cabbages was off the chains. When I tell you that fish, them hush puppies and them shrimp, the fried shrimp, and that chef roll. I don't know what was in that chef roll, but I thought it was a. It tasted like pie. It was had a little sweet taste to it, and that macaroni and cheese was good too. I'm going back there to eat, and that raspberry lemonade. I don't know. I don't know. Ever since lemonade came out, I just been drinking it. Every time I go out to eat, I get strawberry lemonade or cherry lemonade. You know. Yesterday was the first time I tried raspberry. I ain't like it all that good because it turned the water real quick. I guess because it had a lot of ice in it too. Mm-hmm. So, I decided to come on here a little earlier so I can drop this off for today. No. I'm going to set it for 5 o'clock. No. Mm -hmm. Look at the cheese, y'all. Mmm. I love me some cheesy bread. Mm, look at that cheese, y'all. Look at that cheese. I love white cheese bread. Everybody tell you when I go food shopping, I buy cheddar, that white cheese. I love white cheese. I eat yellow cheese every now and then. But if I don't have to eat it, I won't eat it. But I love me some um, white cheese, though. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm getting full already. God is good, y'all. I've just been praying for everybody. We don't know what people are going through. And sometimes we sit there and we complain, we complain, we complain, we complain. We never want, we never got enough. But you know what? I was reading something yesterday in my daily bread, not daily bread. Um, you know, on the um, the King James Virgin. You know how they have those the morning, the noon, the night. You know stuff of them. And it was saying that we always want, 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 want. We never got enough and I, I went to repenting because I saw myself in that I just went repenting and asking God if you don't do nothing else for me you have done enough actually because you wake me up early in the morning you breathe in my nostrils you give me life you know and I'm grateful you know I'm really grateful I'm truly grateful like God takes good care of me you know he said he'll make your enemies your footstool. So no matter what, when people do you wrong, God got a way of taking them people that do you wrong and turn around and they'll be a blessing to you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a firm believer of that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you ain't, ain't got to worry about people. No. Pray for them. No, you got to pray for people. 
It's not them, it's the devil. And I tell people, I tell people that all the time. Pray for people. Don't talk about them. Pray for them. Learn how to turn your cares over to God. Because I tell you, God got a ram in the bush somewhere. He will take care of his. That's one thing. God take care of us. You know. And pray for people. Don't talk about them. Because tomorrow, cause, cause they might be down today. It could be you today. So don't never talk about nobody. Just pray for them. And give them to God. God take care of it. We got to catch our cares upon him because he cared for us. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm dropping nothing. Mm, it looks like it. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. I keep messing up my stuff, y'all. I said, wow, I'm going to need a bed. I'm going to need a bed. Oh, there ain't nothing. That's the front of butter. That's all. Drop it on my throat. Yep, we gotta learn how to pray for people and keep it moving. I'm telling you, that's what I, I'm. I'm. That's what God is teaching me, cause I'm the type of person. I just talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. It ain't gonna do nothing. But I'm learning. I ain't gonna tell you I learned it. I'm learning how to just pray for them and put them in God's hand. That's what I'm doing. Not talking. I'm doing less talking. But sometimes I catch myself when people say something, I catch myself. And sometimes I don't even catch myself. I just say it. You know. But then I have to go back. You know. But at that moment in time, it just come out. Because the Bible says it's not what goes in the man, it what comes out. So we have to be careful. Because a lot of stuff is being our heart. And we been wanted to say it. So when people say things to you, they been wanting to say it a long time ago. You know. They were just waiting for the right time for you them to be mad at you or you done did something to them and they was ready to let it go. You know. Go let it go. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm hmm Well, so tomorrow, Lord's will, I'm going to cook in the afternoon. I'm going to, um, video me cooking tomorrow and i'll tell y'all tomorrow what i'm cooking god's will tomorrow i'm cooking tomorrow afternoon cooking a big dinner yeah because you see we eat out right <laughs> we we basically don't cook it's hot it's hot outside <laughs> it's not hot in here thank god we got central air you know I think now I'm going through menopause now, and I don't know. I don't know what it is, because I think I'm going through the change of life, y'all. <laughs> Some days I wake up, I be so hot, I be drenched wet when I go to sleep. I have to get up, cut air on, and I be hot. And then I get cold. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord, I'm going through the change of life, you know, at 60. You know, I thought I went through menopause and all of that already, but I, I guess I didn't, so... You know, but I thank God because truly it's a blessing to be able to feel what you're going through, you know. And I praise God, no complaints here, you know. I just didn't know, you know, some things happen to you, you just don't know, you know. That's why it's good to take care of yourself. It's good to go to the doctor. Even in my addiction, I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor. My toe hurt it, it, more than two a couple of days. I'm going to the doctor. I had Medicaid too, and I got Medicaid now. But I'm just saying, I use my Medicaid. The devil is a liar. Mm -mm. They just don't sit up there and collect dirt and dust. Uh-uh, baby, I go to the doctor. I went through the doctor. When I had to be there, I was there. When I was on drugs real bad, Tina was at the doctor's office, okay? Uh-uh, Tina had to take care of herself. And even more so now, they say I'm on the borderline, you know what I'm saying, of, of diabetes. But the devil's a lie. I refuse to get that. So now I'm watching what I'm eating. But now, even more so, I don't cut out a whole lot now. You know what I'm saying? I, got, I don't cut out the candy, the cookies, 
and stuff like that every now and then you know what i'm saying i'll be wanting it but i'll be using that mother nature um mother um you know the vinegar and i'll be putting it in you know 16 ounces of water and i shake it up and i drink on that just about the whole day and i tell you it took the cravings away from me and the sugar away from me i don't know when the last time i had some candy oh wow I know my godson bought me a cake for my birthday last month. I didn't even, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I waited on the end before I ate some. And when I did eat it, I didn't even like it because I don't like vanilla cake. But I ate some because it was nice of him buying me a cake. And I wanted to eat some. But I ate some with the ice cream. I didn't like the icing. I don't like vanilla cake. My cake is chocolate. Chocolate and strawberry. Maybe a little lemon. But my two favorite cakes is chocolate and um velvet cake i love me some velvet cake um and strawberry cake that's that's what i like that's my two favorite cakes you know i didn't eat the icing or nothing but i tore that ice cream up though i ain't gonna lie to you i ate the ice cream yep mm. Mm-hmm. I know this shit gonna be messed up. It's alright. Cause I'm gonna walk with the agent away on my Okay, wait till I start fixing my second room up. Where I'm gonna have my videos and stuff, but I think I'm gonna do my videos in my um living room because I got a real big living room. Mm hmm About to get the ring lights and everything. So I can do so I can have me like a um a studio here. You know? Yeah, but everything gonna come in play, you know. Yeah. But in the meantime we can't worry about them. I got an iPhone, iPhone twelve. And I can do it on my iPhone. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, I'm getting full. If I'm eating much as I'm eating much as I can, so I can, you know, end the video with. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thank God, man. I don't know. God is a good God. Yes, He is. You know. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. He is so good. He is so good to me, y'all. I know if he good to me, he good to you. Hmm. And he don't have no respect to person. You know? I'm so glad that I am all in. I'm so glad that I serve him all. I give him my all and all. I don't talk it. I'm walking the walk. I just don't preach it, but I'm walking the walk. And I'm living it. It's a different when you're talking it and living it. I'm living it. I'm walking into the true calling that God has me to be in my life. And I'm just grateful. That's all I'm saying. I got so much to thank God for. I'm so glad. Mm, that's all. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, indeed. I got so much to thank God for. I look at a lot of YouTube videos, you know. Some of them I look at. Some of them I really don't look at, care too much of it because there's so much cursing in it. But nevertheless, I watch. You know, I watch other people YouTube. Some of them got inspiration. You know, I love me some um um what's that name? Rissa and Quan. They're my favorite favorite YouTube videos. I love them, and um the Prince family. I I watch them sometimes. You know. But, um, 
um, I watched the Jacksons. You know, I love them. They came straight from Virginia, but now they're in Atlanta. They own a third sets of twins. And, you know, and they boys. <laughs> congratulations to them. And congratulations to Chris and Quan for getting engaged in Dubai. You know, and um, my niece and um, her boyfriend, uh, you know, JC, you know, I look at their videos sometimes too. You know, if not all the time, I try to support her because she is my niece and I want to support her, you know, on her channel. And um, I look at, you know, a lot of other videos. You know, I like the mukbangs. Oh my God, especially the African people, the Liberians, be eating oxtails and crabs and lobsters. And I be looking at all of that. You know, congratulations to them. Um, I also look at, um, it's a lot more people I look at, you know. I just, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to do YouTube, you know. I look at a lot of couples that's all really married. And they don't let nobody come between their marriage. And that's a good thing. Because I tell you, social media will tear your marriage up. You know what I'm saying? If you will pay attention to a lot of times you read in these comment sections, you'll be sending yourself like, Lord Jesus, have mercy. If you ain't got nothing good to say about nobody, don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I know hurt people hurt people because they're not doing it. You know, but nevertheless, you ought to wish them the best. You know what I'm saying? Every day and you must like it because you in a conversation. So I love me some B Love Life. I love her her son, um that Zaddy Chump Chump and him and Ellie. I love them two together. They are beautiful couples. You know, I see people try to tear them up too, you know. They long as somebody is happy. You know what I'm saying? And they put in God first and foremost. And I love them because a lot of people that eat and have mud veins, they do pray over their food. And that's a blessing to be able to pray over your food because you are blessed. And you are grateful that you got something to eat because a lot of people ain't eating that today. They'll pay that phone bill and they'll go get them a bag of weed before they go get them some food. That's sad, you know. So to each his own, you know. But... Don't sit here and say you don't have nothing to eat when you have money to go get it, but you choose to get that bag of weed. You choose to get you some drugs. You choose you get you a bottle of beer or something to drink, and then you didn't get no food, you know? So we just still have to pray for people, you know, because they're making bad decisions, and they're not making the right ones, you know? So nevertheless... It's a lot of other YouTube videos I watch. I don't know by name, but I look at a lot of them, you know, and um, I love my bangs. I look at all of them, especially Zaddy Chunk Chunk. Rissa and Kwame is my favorite, you know. And if anybody said if I had to pick five people who were, I would pick to be the five YouTube vi video, Kwame and Rissa would be number one. Number two would have to be my niece and nephew. Number three would ha have to be, um, you know, um, the Jacksons. Number four would have to be, um, mm, be love. Where did I say that? Wait a minute, I said, okay, number one is Rissa and Kwa. Second is my niece and nephew. Okay, third would be um, Zaddy Chunk Chunk. Fourth would be Bila. And five would be, um, well, he played on um, Mick Cannon. I can't think of his name right now, but I love them too. You know, um, you know, I love him. He always praying over his family. 
you know, I love people when they just pray and mean, mean business with God. But then just don't only just pray, mean business with God. Because I tell you, people don't realize time is winding up. Jesus Christ is coming back. And if you're not ready to go back when he comes back, there's a lot of people that's going to be missed and left out. I'm determined to be ready, you know, when he comes back. So, you know, I refuse to go to hell. It wasn't made for us. Let me tell you guys something. Hell was not made for us. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. Hell enlarged itself for whoever want to go. So when you get to denying God, because God used people. He used whatever he want and whoever he want. So when you deny God and turn your back on the word of God and turn your back when God sends somebody your way, you asking for it. When you don't serve God the whole way, because you can't have one feet with God and have one feet with the devil. No, you can't do that. And, and then you wonder why you're crazy and you're messed up and you're mixed up and you want to commit suicide. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what commit, commit suicide is because you're playing games now. You're playing games with the devil. And you're playing games with God. And you don't want to play with God. See, I tell people all the time, you're going to play games, play games with me. Don't play games with God Almighty. Because you don't want to fall in his wrath. And it's bad to fall in the hands of a living mercy of God. Because he could turn his wrath on you and it's not pretty. You better go back in the Old Testament and see what happened when you, be, when you, when you turn the other way. You know what I'm saying? When, and, and, and people say God married to the backslide. No, he married to the backslide, Israel. Israel is his, his wife. Yes. He's married to Israel. So y'all better be careful. Them are his chosen people. See, we are the grace. If you don't get it now, you ain't going to never get it. This is it, y'all. This is the second coming. When Jesus come back, this is the second coming. And this is it. Because when he destroyed this world, he's going to destroy it by fire. So... You want to be caught up in that? You go ahead. <laughs> I'm going home to be with Jesus. Because the Bible said to be absent from the body to be present with the Lord. And I'm looking forward to going back with him. I don't know about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for Jesus every day. Especially when I look around what's going on in the world. You can't even look, turn on the TV without something body done got killed. Somebody shooting up this. Somebody doing something. He always tell us our time is always ready. We got to be ready. He didn't tell us how we were going to leave here. And he definitely didn't tell us how we're going to reap what we sow either. So let me tell you something. Stay in that word. Get closer to God. Call upon him while he's near. Hmm. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Yep. The scripture saying, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. True, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a born again, and I'm a firm believer that he would deliver you. He would change your life, y'all. You can't fake this. Because I hear people say you can fake it to make it. The devil is a liar. I don't know who done told y'all that. You can't fake it. Because the Bible said, by that fruit, you shall know them. I'm going to know if you save, sanctify, and fill with the Holy Ghost. You ain't got to tell me. I'm going to know it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm going to know it. Yep. Amen. The true saints of God, the body of Christ, we're going to know if you're saved, sanctified, fruit, the Holy Ghost. And we're going to know if you change. Because one thing for certain, two things for sure. When God changes us, he changes us. That means you ain't going to be doing nothing. When God deliver you from cursing, he deliver you from cursing. When he deliver you from smoking, he deliver it. He take it out your heart. He take it out your mouth. That I do know. 
Because I smoked weed. I did crack. I, did, I, I probably did. I don't know. And didn't know what it was. I did cocaine. I did dope. That was my end. Dope. So let me tell you something. When God delivered me, he took it all away. When he moved me down here to North Carolina, let me tell you something. I did not know that he was going to finish it. But I tell you, when God do something, he does it all. In due time. That means he saved, sanctified me, and he filled me up with his Holy Ghost. He baptized me with the Holy Ghost coming up out the water. And I've been running for my life. Yes, I made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still going to make a lot of mistakes. That's why we pray and ask God to crucify our flesh. This flesh right here, y'all, is a mess. It's always want something. But we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. When Christ come in our life, he makes the difference in my life. In your life. Everybody's life. That want him. He don't need us. We need him. People need to stop. We need God. He don't need us. He said, because if you don't praise him, the rocks will cry out in your place. So how about that? So stop fooling yourself. That devil tricking a lot of y'all. That devil don't love you. The love of money is the root of all evil. You walking past your shadow will leave you. Okay? <laughs> okay? So at the end of the day, let me tell you something. It's time to get right with God, y'all. Stop playing games. Stop thinking that you got all day, every day. And you can continue on sinning and doing what you want to do. And that you don't get no repercussion consequences that come behind it. Because it does come behind it. You just don't know how that thing going to come back. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. I said I wasn't going to try to eat all of this, but since I'm on the video, I might as well. Yeah, everybody know I ate everything. Yeah. Yep. God makes the, God makes the different in our life. Yep, I just want y'all to know that God is so good. You know, sometimes you just want to tell people, sometimes I would love to give you what I got. But we got to know Jesus for ourselves. We got to know him. We got to, we got to do it. We all got to stand before him. Because the Bible says after death is the judgment. So, I don't want to see none of y'all go to hell. But if that's your choice, the Bible said to whom this day who you may serve. I choose Jesus. Who you choose? Hmm. I'm waiting for y'all. Mm -hmm. Yep. God is good.
Yeah, the papa sale. And John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want everlasting life. I want to be with Jesus. And his kingdom on earth. I'm so glad that I am a citizen in his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know something, world. I'm going to let the whole world know that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I'm going to tell you something else. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power unto salvation to everyone believe. I'm a firm believer that Jesus is the Christ and is the only way. And he got the last say. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed talking to you guys. I'm just letting you know, baby. I'm running for my life. I'm determined to make it in. The Bible says he did do it to the end. Same shall be saved. I'm determined to do it to the end. <clears throat> That's some good apple juice. I like apple juice. It's good. I <clears throat> Yeah, but I love apple juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. After this piece, we are finished. I'm going to close it out with prayer. And I'm going to end this video. And this video will be dropped at 4. I mean, 5 o'clock. Oh. Very real. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Right, so I'm full full. This is it, y'all. Okay? I ate it all. See? Cheesy bread at Domino's with garlic butter. I ate it all, y'all. This is the first time I ever finished a video with eating. I get full real quick, you know? Hmm.
I love you, grandson, Dante and Quay, Emmanuel, Layla, Callie, Justin, and Carlos, and little Eric. Grandma, I love y'all. Eric, Stacy, Dietrich, Emmanuel, mommy love you. Mommy, I love you. I thought I love you. Malik, I love you. Isha, I love you. Kaden, Amari, Isaac, Zamora, Alexis, I love you. I right, big Isaiah, I love you. Kamal, I love you. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Mommy, my play play mommy, Myra, Jazara, I love you. My right hand cousin that's right beside me. That did my banner and did my YouTube video um for my um YouTube. Jayla, Nigel, Andre, Mo, I love y'all, and little nephew, I don't know, know how to say his son name, but Mo's son, yeah, I love y'all, Nay, I love you, yep, I love everybody, Grandma Yolanda, <laughs> cousin Ricky, <laughs> Jordan, cousin Jordan, Aunt Cynthia, Aunt Karen, mm. Aunt Linda, Aunt Johnny Mae. I love y'all. Yeah, I love all of y'all. All my cousins around the globe. I love y'all. Yep, I'm full. Let's end this video. Our Father God, in the holy name of Jesus, Lord, we praise you for the food that we ate today. We praise you to be able to talk about you because you are a good God in our life, Lord. And Lord, it's about you. It's not about us. It's about us. It's about you, Lord. And thank you for allowing us to be here. And the number one more time, God, please forgive me for saying us. But we thank you for allowing us to be here. And the number one more time. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Thank you for grace and mercy this morning. Thank you for a new day that we'll never see again. Thank you for being ahead of this video. Thank you to be able to reach out to your people, God. Reach out to your saints. Reach out to the people that will this video will fall into their hands. Where they'll know that you will, you love them. You don't have no respect to people. And God, you love us. God, change that mind of that person that's about to commit suicide. Change the mind of the people they don't know how they're going to make it. That loved one that lost somebody don't know how they're going to make it because they lost their loved ones. But God, let them know that you'll comfort them. Let them know that you'll never leave them alone but forsake them. And you'll be with them to the end of time. And, Lord, we just want to thank you for everything that you have done for us. We thank you for your word, bringing us closer to you like never before. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that washed us, washed away our sins. We thank you for sanctify us through your word. Hallelujah. We thank you for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you for the Holy Ghost because it comes and leading God us into all truth. We ask in all these blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. If nobody told you they love you today, Jesus love you and Alice love you too. And you have a blessed and wonderful Saturday, August the 6th, 2022. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. We'll be back with another video on tomorrow, if the Lord's will. God bless you.